welcome to the video tutorial of informatics practices for class 12 today we'll be discussing the fourth part of the chapter python pandas 1 as in the previous video tutorial we have already discussed that uh, what are the different series object and how we can create some series object also we have uh, studied about some few basic functions of series object and in the last video also we have discussed that how we can access uh, individual elements of a series object and uh, different slices of the series object and how to manipulate those data okay so today we are moving further with the same discussion so today we will discuss about basically the head and tail function okay so what this head and tail function accomplished by the name itself you can understand that the head is offering you the functions which is going to give you the values from the top of the data frame that is from the head of the data frame okay and similarly when we are talking about the tail function then it will start the values from the bottom of the data frame so if you are not going to give any attribute inside this head or tail function that is if you are not going to provide a single value in this head and tail so obviously it is going to take the first five values okay the first five values in the head and last five rows in the tail okay so if you are using the first five values in the head in that case what will happen that suppose if this ob7 object is there and you are adding ob7 dot head so in that case what will happen these five values from the top that is first second third fourth and fifth these five values will be returned out of it okay but if you are going to write ob7 dot head seven so it is going to take more than five values and the attribute given here will be taken so seven is mentioned so seven values will be written that is first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh okay so till index number six you will get all the values okay similarly if you are going to write just tail so it is going to take uh, the first sorry the last five values and if you are going to provide an attribute inside that tail so obviously it is going to provide the number of values you have provided in that attribute okay so if it is seven in the end so you are going to get one two three four five six and seven till here okay so from bottom to till here you are going to get all the values and this has returned the value accordingly as you have given the attributes in the head and tail function okay so the head and tail function is quite clear to everyone i guess the example based on that is given so that is very simple no need to discuss about those things now if you are going for the vector operations on the series object let's see what it is okay suppose this ov2 plus 2 you are writing okay so in that case what will happen whatever the data is there in ob2 will be added with 2 for all the values okay so if the series object is having something mentioned as ob2 okay suppose the series object is ob2 and we are going to add 2 in it so all the values will be added with 2 okay so you need to see the ob object which is already created and if you're going to add 2 in that so you are going to get these values okay similarly if you're going to write ob2 into 3 that means all the values will be multiplied with 3 so the earlier value of ob2 you need to reference first whatever the ob2 was given and when you are going to multiply 3 in it it is going to give a value that is a product of the given value and the multiplication of 3 okay so you are getting these values since if you are writing ob2 greater than 15 so it is either going to be true or false so it is going to return a boolean value so if that object the particular uh, object reference is having value greater than 15 so it will return true and if the value is less than 15 so it will return false okay so individual values each individual value will be checked with 15 so if it is greater than true then it will return true and if it is not greater than 15 then it will return false so the first two values were not greater than 15 so you are getting less than 15 so it was false but the rest of the values were greater than 15 so you are getting greater than 15 as true that's why the return is true here. okay similarly you can multiply it oh uh, sorry you can uh, square it this two multiplications reference to the power operator so ob2 power 2 so it will give the uh, pro, uh, power of 2 to all the single values now first element was having something in ob2 so that value has been squared up and you are getting this value okay so if you are having problem you just need to see that ob2 which is already created so all this operation is happening on the previously created ob2 series object okay so here you can see i think ob2 must be given somewhere uh yeah this was the ob2 object okay so all the thing which is happening is over this ob2 if you are going to add 2 then it will take the previous value that is 1.50 and add 2 in it then 12.75 and add 2 in it then 24.00 then add 2 in it 
Similarly, if you are going to multiply, then multiply the objects with these values which was already there. Okay, so this is the reference OB2 and the rest of the operation has been done over this reference object only. Okay, so I think it's clear and let's move forward. Now arithmetic on series objects. Suppose these objects are given OB1, OB2, OB3, OB4 and OB5. Now if you are going to uh, multiply OB1 and OB3, so obviously in that case what will happen? See OB1 and OB3 are having these indexes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then when the multiplication is happening you are going to get some values there okay if you are going to write ob1 by ob3 so in that case what will happen ob1 will be divided with ob3 and the indexes are same 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 so the operation can be performed okay ob2 plus ob5 can also be done because the indexes are same why because here the indexes are a b c d e and here also the indexes are a b c d e but if you provide something which is having a different index for example here ob1 plus ob4 so what will happen here see if you are going to reference these two objects ob1 and ob4 so here you can see 0 1 2 3 4 these are the indexes and here more than four also indexes are there 5 6 7 so these 5 6 7 indexes will return the uh, value which is nan okay because 5 6 7 cannot be added you are not having the values in both of them okay and if in case you are writing ob1 plus ob2 so what will happen in that case see ob1 is having the indexes as 0 1 2 3 4 and ob2 is having the indexes as a b c d e so no certain matching of indexes there so all the values will be returned as nan okay so whenever you are performing any operation which is going to resemble the arithmetic operations on the series object that is the direct addition direct multiplication division of the series objects so in that case the index should be matching if the index is not matching so the non matching index will be giving you the nan value okay if all the entries are non matching so all the values will be nan but if some values are matching and some values are not matching so that matching values will be provided with a uh, operational result but the non matching values will be given a nan value i think it's clear so let's move on to the another example like example 17 is there number of students in classes 11th and 12th in three streams are given the stream names are science commerce and humanities and it has stored in two series objects c11 and 12 so write code to find total number of students in class 11th and 12th stream wise so what you need to be given that you have got the addition of these two objects c11 and c12 so 11 is having these objects so the reference object is not given so the object name is given but the values of the object are not given so what you can do you can create the value of by your own choice so c11 is equals to pd dot series data 30 40 and 50 and index is science commerce and humanities similarly for c12 you can see that pd dot series data 37 44 45 and index science commerce and humanities so you need to see this thing that the index should be same in that case only the values will be added otherwise the value will be na okay so science commerce and humanities have been added and the values were 30 40 and 50 here 37 44 and 45 here so when you are going to add it you are going to get a result of the addition that is 30 plus 37 equals to 67 40 plus 44 will give you 84 and 50 and 45 will give you 95 okay so i think the output is very quite clear and i did this no confusion for here if you need to calculate the average so that also you can do so here in object it is question that object population stores the details of population four metro cities and object two average income stores the total average income reported in previous year so calculate income per capita so for calculating per capita income you need to divide the average income with the population okay so you need to have the average income column and you need to have the population as well so you are having the values by your own choice for the population and for the average income and then you are having the indexes as per the four metro cities that is delhi mumbai kolkata and chennai so here also you need to have the same indexes delhi mumbai kolkata and chennai once the same indexes are there so the calculation can be done and then you have written per capita is equals to average income by population so this average income will be divided with the population okay and then the result will be in this per capita so when you are going to print this per capita you will have these values okay so i think there is no complication here everything is quite clear let's move forward let's see the filtering entries so filtering entries that is also very easy if you want to write that uh, this i discussed in a previous example 
that if you are going to write ob1 greater than 5 so it is either going to return true or false because it is a boolean value if that particular series value will be having the value greater than that so it will return true if it is having value less than that it will return false okay so this is the example which i have already discussed here you have written ob1 in bracket ob1 greater than 5 so all the values which are true that will be returned so here the true values were this one and this one so the values have been returned accordingly so the first value is 12.75 which is greater than 5 and the another one is 56.50 which was greater than 5 and rest of the values were less than 5 so that's why the rest of the results were false and that's why you have got these two values only similarly if you are going for ob2 in that case also ob2 is greater than 10 so again the result have been filtered out so this was false and rest of the values were true so the indexes of b c d e have been returned here but a has not been returned because we have written ob2 in bracket ob2 is greater than 10. so in this way we can filter out our uh, subsets as per the given choice okay now let's move forward and discuss about uh, this program is based on that thing only that if, if the info is greater than 40 or if the info is less than 40 so it has to be given in this order only so this was the program import pandas as pd and this is the series which has been created with the following data that is 31 41 and 51 and then you are being asked whether 40 is greater than means the, that data is greater than 40 or not so 31 is not greater than 40 so it will return false 41 is greater than 40 it will return true and 51 is again greater than 40 so again it will return true so these two values are greater than 40 so these two only will return true so this if you are going to print it this first line so it will actually print the false and true values and when you are going to write this so it is going to trace out the true elements so that the true elements were 41 and 51 so that only has been printed okay i think no complication is there now let's move forward to the sorting of the series values so if you see the sorting of the series value so here also you can see that an example is given by default the ascending is uh, set as true okay so whatever the sorting is there if you are going to write just sort okay so it is actually going to sort the values in an ascending order but the, if the values are not given as ascending means if you have written ascending equal to false in that case the value will become in descending order so there are two options for ascending order either you don't write anything in that attribute because by default it is true and if you are going to write ascending equal to true in that case also you are going to get an ascending order only but for the descending order you are only having one choice and that choice is to provide ascending equal to false in the attribute okay that is the optional argument okay so here you can see s11 object is given that is a series object s11 and if you are going to write s11 dot sort underscore values so in that case see these values will be returned what are the these values c d b and a okay so when you are going to write this c d b and a so see actually you have sorted them why it has been sorted because it has mentioned sort underscore values so sort underscore values is giving you the values according to the sorted order and since you have not mentioned anything ascending equal to true or false so by default the order is ascending and by default ascending order you are going to get these values that is the uh, most smaller value among them is the 5000 and the next value is 5200 next value is 5600 and next value is 6700 so you are going to get the sort values as c d b and a okay if you are going to write ascending equal to false so it will become a descending order and in descending order you are going to get the most greatest value at the first place and then similarly the values will be degraded according to the given order that is 6700 5600 and 5000 okay so i don't think that is a bit um, complicated everything is so easy let's move forward if you feel anywhere that you are facing problem you can just pause the video and you can return back and then you can watch it okay don't need to worry about anything now next part is sorting on the basis of indexes so till now we have used sort underscore values function which was doing the uh, trick by using the values function there but now we are not using values here we are using the index so for sorting the value uh, sorting the indexes we can just write sort underscore index here and again the ascending true and false will work as similarly as it was using earlier so here sort underscore index ascending equal to false and sort underscore index and in that case false is given so false is going to resemble the descending order and if anything is not given so it will uh, return the ascending order so here you can see the descending order of the index is d c b and a because this time it will go for the index not for the values 
so dcba is the order of the indexes in descending order and if you are going to write nothing here in this attribute so it will go for the ascending order for indexes at the indexes uh, order of the ascending values will be given as like this only a b c and d okay and the corresponding values of the indexes will be shifted okay so jo bhi value hogi beta yahan par whatever the values there in d it will return accordingly okay d will get 5200 c will get 5000 b will get 5600 a will get 6700 but in this case if the order is changed so here also you can see a is still having the value of 6700 b is still having the value of 5600 so accordingly the choice of index has been taken the similar value of that index has been shifted up or down okay now difference between numpy array and series object uh, it is very easy to define the differences between them first thing is that in case of nd arrays you can perform vectorize operation only if the shapes of two nd arrays match okay so if we are talking about the nd array in that case beta only the same indexes can be means the uh, values of the same indexes okay if they are matching then only you are going to get a vectorized operation otherwise if the indexes are not matching you are going to get nothing okay you will get an error in that case okay but with the series object in case of vectorized operation the data of two series object is aligned as per the matching indexes and operation is performed on them and if the value is not matching in that case any n will be returned so that is the big difference that in numpy array you are going to get an error there if the shapes are not matching or the index is not matching but in case of that series object if the index is not matching you are going to get nan and if the values are matching so in that sorry if the index was matching so the operation will be performed and the return of that operation will be returned okay in nd arrays the indexes are always numeric starting from 0 onwards but series object can have any type of indexes including numbers not necessarily starting from 0 so it is mentioned that when you are talking about the nd arrays the indexes are always starting from 0 onwards by default okay you don't have to give an index it is done by default that the first index will be 0 and the next index will be 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and so on but for the series object you have to be very careful that when you are creating a series object you don't have to only give a means if you are not giving an index by default the index will be created by 0 1 2 3 4 4 but if you want you can change the index as well okay so it is not necessarily starting from 0 that is the difference between the numpy array and series object okay now moving forward with this reindexing so reindexing is also possible in series so if you want to change the index you can do it very easily suppose this ob2 object was there and this was having the indices a b c d and e so here you are reindexing them and you are making it e d c b and a so the new object ob1 is having the indices as e d c b and e and this of the values have been uh, cha uh, not changed but actually it is having the same value see e was having the value as 46.50 so still the value is e is 46.50 d was having 35.25 so still d is having 35.25 then similarly c b and a are having the values okay and when you are going to write ob1 in that case the object of the series has been returned in this ob1 only and the order has been shifted okay and for dropping the entries also you need to write like this ob2 equal to ob2 dot drop c so what will happen this ob2 will start dropping the element drop c so this c index will be dropped and the value of that c index will also be dropped so rest of the elements will remain there a b d and e so you have got a b d and e and the corresponding values for that index is also there okay so but c index has been removed along with its value so that is the use of this drop okay so in the next video students will be uh, studying about the data frame data structure so till now we have covered all the elements for the series and then we will start about the data frame okay so i think that's enough for today so we'll meet in the next video lecture students thank you